In this class, you'll apply two actions in a dynamic block to facilitate project insertion, flip and alignment actions. Let's start the class speaking about the alignment action. Use the alignment parameter to insert this action. This parameter is on the block editor tab and then on the action parameter panel. Also find this parameter on the parameters tab and then on the block authoring palette. When this parameter is enabled, you are requested to select a base point for alignment. Then define the alignment direction. You can test the block and see how it behaves relative to other elements and the inserted action. See how when you move the block near these lines it becomes automatically aligned if it behaves correctly. Now let's exit from the block test interface. You can also specify the applied alignment type as well as the alignment direction. Let's delete the inserted alignment action to go on to study other possibilities. Now enable the parameter and define the base point. Press the down arrow key now. See how the type option is displayed. Press the enter key to confirm the option and you'll see a new menu that displays the perpendicular and tangent options. Let's select the perpendicular option so the alignment will remain perpendicular to the reference geometry. However, the alignment for the tangent option will be tangential to the reference geometry. Select the tangent option and then define the alignment direction as shown. Now let's test how the block behaves. See a grip is displayed. See the block behaves the same way as the straight lines did previously. However, curves behave based on the enabled option, either tangential or perpendicular. Now the first action has been inserted. Now insert the flip action. It's necessary to insert a parameter and the flip action to do this. Both elements are on the block editor tab and then on the action parameter panel. Let's begin by inserting the parameter. After enabling it, you need to select the base point. After selecting this point, you must specify another point to define the reflection line. Now let's click the place where the parameter name will be. And finally, define the number of displayed grips. Normally you use a grip, but if you don't wish to display any grips, then define this option as zero. You can see an exclamation point next to the parameter. This shows there is no linked action. So let's insert an action now. 
Enable and click the inserted parameter. Then select all objects which will be affected by this action. Now let's test the block to see how it behaves. You can see a new grip displayed as an arrow. Click it to flip the block. So in this class you've learned how to apply alignment and flip actions. These actions facilitate your work when inserting a block in a project.